Hi guys, welcome to Oddcast, a four nerds by nerd show. Today you're joined by myself, Joe, and my co-hosts, CN and Paige. And we're going to talk about a couple of things that we've noticed that we think are interesting that we just kind of want to throw out there. Now's your opportunity to hit that like button as well as the subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications so that you know when we pop up these videos. Um, we're doing them pretty frequently. Just stay up to date with what we're doing. Right off the jump, there have been uh, some rumors in circulation that I wanted to discuss because I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but I am all aboard the hype train for No Way Home. Just a little bit. Just just a little? All aboard it. Okay. That's your most anticipated movie of the year. Yes. Yeah. No. I don't know because Ghostbusters is still on the horizon. Yeah. Is, this, is it this year? It's yeah. supposed to be. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be Thanksgiving. Oh. Hmm. Um, but <laughs> on that train... There are two things going on. So the first one, which I guess I'll go in chronological order because Paige likes it when things are done in chronological it's order. It's true. I do. Um, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, directed by Andy Serkis, is coming out on October 1st. And somebody has leaked the after credits. The post credit scene got leaked and then taken down and then leaked and then taken down, <laughs> much like the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer did. However, uh, in this case, it's been interesting because I have avoided it. It all costs. Uh, it hasn't even crossed my feed. Nobody's yeah, talked I, I, about it. I didn't even know about it until you Like, nobody's me. talked about it. So, like, I've never... <laughs> it was all over the Twitterverse for a little while there, and then it got taken down. Um, so I didn't get the chance to watch it, and nor would I have, because I don't want the film to be spoiled. However, what makes it weird is that Andy Serkis put out a statement saying that Spider-Man will definitely cross over with Venom, and there are hints that it is tied to that post credit scene. So... I can only speculate as to what that scene is. I don't want you to tell me in the comments. Although, I, even if you did tell me in the comments, I wouldn't know if you, it was accurate or not because <laughs> I haven't seen it. So, I don't know. Uh, you could totally... So, feel free to fuck with him. Just yeah. saying. <laughs> uh, however, it's very interesting because unlike most post credit scenes, which, as we all know in the Marvel Universe, have been pretty big, Sony is out there talking about this one like how it's a game changer and how it moves things forward. But, like, hmm. who the hell advertises the post credit scene? Like, I guess it's important, but, like, that seems really weird to well, me. And it's weird because Sony usually is really closed-mouthed about everything. They don't want to leak anything. They were... Because they kept going on about when they were posing that it might have been a multiverse thing with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield coming back. Um, to do No Way Home, and they were like, no, we're not going to talk about it. That's not true, blah, blah, blah. So the fact that they're pushing this is really out of character for them, so it's kind of interesting. And then speaking of Andrew Garfield, he's actually the second big rumor that I've heard around, and that is that uh, that he is in No Way Home. There's footage of him on the set in 4K drinking coffee, apparently, but he has denied any involvement with the project. He said he knows what's going on and that fans are going to be disappointed. I don't know what that means, but he was definitely on set. There's pictures of him, moving pictures. Um, I feel almost like the set of Spider-Man No Way Home has become a J. Jonah Jameson thing. Like, <laughs> get me pictures of Spider-Man! Uh, I just feel like that's what's going on. Like, people are just demanding photos. Like, what's going on? We don't know. We don't Honestly, know. I just feel bad for Tom Holland because he's really bad at not spoiling things for people. Like, no, I you love think Tom. he's starting to boil over? No, no offense to Tom Holland. I love, I love his characters. He's a great actor, but apparently he has a hard time keeping his mouth shut. Yeah, well, luckily he's got a girlfriend that I think is keeping him in line. <laughs> <laughs> Zendaya, right? Yeah, and I think he's isolated right now. Not confirmed. Yeah, un they're not confirmed, but you know. I mean, they got caught in the car kissing, so I mean. Yeah, and he posted my MJ. We're, we're paying attention to. Yeah. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Good uh, for you, though, Tom. Good for you. And then last but not least, uh, we're going to move on to the topic of Kathleen Kennedy, which is Boo. Paige's favorite uh, in this rumor mill, and that is that there's a rumor that Gina Carano has been signed to return as Cara Dune for season four of The Mandalorian, because season three is already, they've already figured out what they're going to do with that. Mm. Um, so that's just interesting to me because Kathleen Kennedy, of course, was behind the very public firing. Well, sorry, the very public non-renewal of <laughs> Cara Dune's contract. And with everything that's going on at Disney right now, it just seems so weird to me that now there's rumors of a return for a character that they had gotten rid of. I mean, it's it's still talked about, right? It's, there's been no confirmed, confirmed. I haven't seen any confirmations, but you did say that you saw some confirmations. I did see a bit of information saying that she is coming back. Now, I don't know in what capacity, 
I don't. I mean, know it would it, definitely be the same character. Yeah, but I don't know if it's like. Maybe it'd be kind of weird if it was like a flashback thing. <laughs> They're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what happens in season three, which obviously we have no idea. So yeah, because we get the book of Fett, and then next year is season three of the Mandalorian. I don't Everything's know. been pushed back it, because of COVID. I'm still sad that I have still have to wait until December to see season two of The Witcher. I'm upset. I mean, it's right around the corner. Now. I know, but I still have to wait. I know that it, it 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 is a little weird that this last. I guess we're in the last half of the year. Yeah, last half of the year, there's a Man. lot of secrets and a lot of in the, in the film industry as far as, like, I, there's a lot of theories. We talked about the Spider-Man trailer theories. We talked about the, uh, the Doctor Strange thing. Not only have we talked thing. about them, but if you think that after the Eternals and Carnage, we're not going to have another sit-down chat about No Way Home, you're very wrong. Yeah, that's true. We, I, know, I already know. We might even have to, at least two. Just <laughs> saying. So not only is there, like, public... Uh, Secrets or public theories is going around. We're going to have our little own own little internal theories as far as, especially like you said, once the Eternals come. We out. all have a theory. You have a theory. I know you do. Don't mm. lie to me. Mephisto you have confirmed. One. Mephisto, yeah, Mephisto confirmed. We Mephisto all have them. If you love Spider Man, Spider Man is the most. Isn't it the most known superhero Spider Man yeah, so because of all of the iterations everywhere? Yeah. So Spider Man was the number one selling uh, superhero of all time until he was dethroned in the uh, earlier part of the millennium. By one Tony Stark and Iron Man, and then he reclaimed his throne. It took a little bit of time, though. But yeah, but I'm going to start hashtag uh, Doctor Strange Mephisto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're just going to... Okay, that's fine. You can hop aboard my hype train. I know what's going on. I am not hopping aboard that train. Thank you. Hashtag Doctor Strange Mephisto. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. You got to do it. Yeah, guys. Hash brown. <laughs> um, all right, guys. And then on to more serious news. Uh we did want to comment on the recent passings of Norm Macdonald and Ed Asner. Mm. Uh, both of them had a huge impact, uh, at least for me personally. I've been watching Ed Asner since I was a child uh, on the Mary Tyler Moore show, as well as he was the voice of Houston on Disney's Gargoyles, and I love that damn show so much. It's a pacing show. <laughs> yeah. He's also Carl from Up. I mean, the guy's career just spans so long, and he did so much. Mm -hmm. And then Norm MacDonald, I mean, if you like dry wit and... SNL icon. Yeah, weird yeah. banter. Like, that guy, legendary. Like, I, I remember at the roast, when instead of actually doing the roast, he just read the paper. <laughs> I heard about that. It one. was super cerebral. Like somebody bet him behind stage that he wouldn't do it. He was like, "I'm gonna do it." And then, of course, his legacy continues onwards because there's still um, on-aired episodes of the Orville season three, which are coming, which are going to have Norm Macdonald. So oh, wow. I'm expecting Seth MacFarlane to do probably a pretty big send-off. Yeah. Uh, and it makes me wonder what's going to happen to the character of Officer Yafet. And then in other news, uh, more of the streaming community's type stuff. Um, Ray Bans is back. Yeah, but I mean, it didn't actually well, go anywhere. Well, Raymans didn't really go yeah. anywhere. They just yeah. they have cameras on them now. <laughs> a couple of people that I actually follow on uh, on Facebook and YouTube. Um, one of them is Phil DeFranco. He's actually been posting. He's not not he's not sponsored by them in no way, shape, or form. But like he's like he had he spent this three hundred twenty nine dollars for these damn things. And okay, you can so link that's it to your not phones. an outra that's not an outrageous price. If you know anything about prescription glasses. These motherfuckers are expensive. Yeah, we're talking about designer, uh, not even, I guess, accessory? Uh, yeah. So, prescription glasses, sure, but an accessory, I don't know if I'm going to spend Yeah, no, they're still way too expensive. Yeah. I'm just saying. But they th shouldn't be. $329, they have cameras, I believe, on both one side, and, like, you can link it to your phone, you can upload, like, Phil DeFranco was talking about it on his YouTube, and it looks cool. I mean, it looks like you're, he was doing, like, uh, what's that movie, um, Hardcore Her Henry? Yeah. Kind of thing. It looks... I mean, I don't what, know. What's the name of that other movie where um, people download the adventures of other people, like, into a VR set? Oh, uh, was it... Wait, was it a big mir uh, Black Mirror thing? No, I think it was I mean, an it was in movie. Ready Player Two. <laughs> it's true. So the good news is, with Ray-Bans making new glasses, it means that I'm sure a Men in Black movie is inbound somewhere. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does Ray-Bans making new glasses have anything to do with Men in Black? Because they, they made were, it such a big part of Men in Black. They made it a huge part of the first two Men in Black movies. So Ray-Bans does more than just sunglasses. They actually do regular glasses. I've had a pair of Ray-Ban regular prescription glasses, so... And then, uh, last but not least, I just wanted to touch on one thing, and this is super quick, and that is that, uh, unfortunately, Loki Season 2 has been delayed. No. Um, so it's no, still coming, still it. happening, but it's delayed. 
Uh, they've replaced. They're replacing the director, and as a result, why? with no director, they don't have a writing room. And but without why? the writing, I don't. But why? And without uh, the writing room, it means that there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen in pre-production. Mm-hmm. And tied to Loki, um, HBO has decided not to renew Lovecraft Country for a second season. However, I am not holding. A little bit of old not, news. I'm yeah, not I was giving about to up. Say, I thought that. I know, but I just wanted to say this part because I know what it is to lose shows that you love. Yeah, we've all But that. I don't think that Lovecraft Country is as dead as what it appears to be. And the reason for that is because if each if AT and T does sell HBO, whoever the new person that takes it over, I think is going to review their materials and decide what should and shouldn't come. So I'm just saying. I didn't know AT and T was gonna yeah, sell I'm, HBO. It's in the pipeline, kind of. Huh. Not really. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so I'm just saying that if HBO gets a new business daddy, <laughs> there's no telling what could happen. So oh, don't give up sorry. hope yet. I'm getting a Zoe's Extraordinary Finale, so maybe there's still hope out there for you guys in Lovecraft Country. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks for joining. Ha- stay safe out there. Have a great one. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Later. <laughs>